Google Drive, working with Google Spreadsheets. This video features instructions for using Google Sheets to create an online gradebook. Google Sheets, or Spreadsheets, is a productivity application available via Google Docs and Google Drive. For this assignment, you will use your AU Gmail and Google Drive accounts. Log in to your AU Gmail account. Access to Gmail is available from any AU web page. Select Login and choose Gmail. Enter your username and password to continue. Sign in to your Google account. Above the Ashland University logo, a Google Apps menu bar is featured. Since you logged in via AU email, mail is highlighted. Choose Drive to begin. Review the Meet Your Drive information and note featured options to create Google Docs and more is prominently displayed. To begin, select Create and choose Spreadsheet. A new spreadsheet opens. Take time to title your spreadsheet. Click Rename and enter your name. Select OK to continue. Once you've named your gradebook, Auto Save is enabled. Every change you make is automatically saved in Drive. As you can see, the last edit to this spreadsheet was just seconds ago. Start by entering the required gradebook information into your open sheet. You will need columns for your students' names, five assignments, total points, and a grade. Populate your spreadsheet with five students, five assignments, and point values for each student's assignment. In addition to total and grade, you will need an area on your spreadsheet for the functions of maximum, minimum, and average. There are two ways that you can use functions within Sheets. You can choose the function icon or use the menu bar selecting insert, function, and making your choice. In this video, I will be using the function icon. To calculate total or sum, select the cell directly below total, function, and sum. Highlight the cells that you want to include and note that they're displayed with the sum, B2 through F2. Select enter on your keyboard to apply. Apply the sum function to the rest of the students by selecting the completed cell and placing your cursor in the bottom right corner. When it becomes a large plus sign, click and drag. The sum is automatically applied to the column cells. We will use the same process for applying the functions of maximum, minimum, and average to the spreadsheet. Select the cell next to Maximum, Function, Maximum, and choose the cells to apply. Hit Enter. Highlight and drag. Minimum, And average. With basic data entered, you are now required to make your gradebook more visually appealing by working with font. You can change font style, size, apply bold, italic, and superscript. You can also change the text color. You can work with the data and the cell layout by adjusting horizontal and vertical alignment. You can highlight the column headers with color. 
use the fill option. You can also apply borders. Highlight the area and choose your border options. With basic data added to the first sheet, take time to name your sheet, Sheet 1, Rename, and add the second required sheet to your gradebook. Rename your second sheet. Enter all the necessary information into your second sheet. Remember your second sheet may have the same students, but it will need to have completely different numbers. Your totals from the first sheet should not be the same as the totals on the second sheet. Both of your gradebook sheets need to have a chart to provide a visual representation of the data you have entered. To begin, highlight the data you would like to include. Select Insert and Chart. The chart editor will open and make selections and recommendations for the data that you've entered. Select Charts to view additional options and choose the type of chart that you would like to use. Finish by customizing your chart, giving it a title, a legend, and naming the axis and information as needed. When you're finished, select Insert. You'll need to position your chart away from the data displayed in your spreadsheet. Click to select. When your mouse cursor turns into a hand, you can move it away. Notice that you are able to continue to edit your chart, if need be, within its new location by selecting the Quick Edit mode. Return to your second sheet and create a different chart type with the data. Once you're finished, the final step for this gradebook is to assign grades using an IF function. You may use the IF function supplied in the course module as is if your grades are based upon a 100 point assessment. You may also create your own using the function option. It's a more function selection. Or you may choose to adapt the IF function provided to meet your project point values as noted in the course module. This example will use the function from Angel. In the grade column, select the first cell. Paste the IF function in the function bar. Hit enter. The IF statement is applied giving this student the grade of B. To apply the grading scale to each student, select the cell, place your cursor to the right, and drag. Apply the IF function to your second gradebook sheet. Grade paste your function, hit enter. Apply the statement. When you are satisfied with your project, you need to create a public shared link. Click the share button located at the top right corner of the page. Change who has access from private to public on the web. Note it also needs to say, anyone, no sign-in required, can view. Save. You will copy this URL to paste in the module Dropbox. Click Done to finish and sign out of your account.